So my name's Regan, I'm a community psychologist working in South East Queensland. Um, I was actually born in Darwin and grew up in some remote parts of, of the Northern Territory. I also spent a lot of time in North Queensland, which is where I would call home. Um, I've lived in metropolitan areas as well, but I've also spent quite a lot of time in regional, rural, remote Australia, most recently in Western Australia, and have done a lot of work throughout the state there. So when I was working in Western Australia, I was working as part of an organisation doing LGBTIQ mental health training. So the objective of that training was to try and create better outcomes for lesbian, gay, bisexual, trans, intersex and queer people in regional remote parts of the state. Um, the way that we did that was work with mental health workers, psychiatrists, anyone working as part of allied health in those areas to improve their practice standards around working with these populations. We, we know that these populations are more vulnerable, particularly in non-metropolitan areas because there are rarely LGBTIQ specific services or applicable resources for people living in non-metropolitan areas. Um, a lot of the work that we did there was very challenging but very rewarding as well and we have seen some very good outcomes in the mental health sector as a result of that. One of the main things that I would like, particularly students going into rural and remote areas to reflect on would be being open to change. So being open to um, learning from people around them, particularly non-professionals around them, about their circumstances, how life is different in rural, regional, remote areas. Um, and part of that is about learning to shut up and listen to other people, observe and take those things on board as opportunities for learning and being able to grow from there. Um, the other one of the other main things that I think students often benefit from is learning self-reflection. A lot of the time students don't like to do reflective journals and reflective type practice, but you're kind of put in a position when you work in re particularly remote areas where you need to do that reflection stuff because it's about understanding who you are, um, being able to take ownership of who you are, develop who you are, but also um, allow yourself to be changed, I guess, in those settings. Some of my, probably all of my best experiences working in rural and remote areas have been situations where I've been able to contribute to community and seen that change grow and flourish. So an example I, I suppose would be um, doing LGBTIQ mental health work in the Kimberley and the Pilbara regions in Western Australia and seeing communities really struggle to take concepts on and really struggle to um, adjust the way they've always done things and then start to embrace them and get to a point where um, the whole community has grown and met that challenge. That's incredibly satisfying and rewarding. Some of the experiences of rural and remote practice that I've learnt the most from that have altered how I work and how I approach mental health practice in general have actually not necessarily happened in rural and remote settings but happened with people from rural and remote areas of Australia. So um, I worked in a custodial setting once in a, in a men's prison and watching some of the men in that setting who were from very remote parts of Australia being in a custodial setting their grief for their land and their culture really taught me a lot about what their land and their culture meant, um, how that changed and developed their ideas of who they were. Um, and seeing them connect with other people from their area, 
there's no way to duplicate that in a clinical sense from my pers- from my perspective. So that's really changed how I approach and how I understand culture, how I understand land um, and what that means for people in Australia. It's very, very different for particularly Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. Um, completely different concept than buying and selling homes and that kind of thing. It's, yeah, so watching people, um, learning from people about their their connection to themselves, their culture, their land is all about being in those areas. Thank you.